So Brian Gudikins had a press conference in the past couple hours, and it was about 30 minutes long. He broke down tons of different aspects of the Green Bay Packers, and I want to focus on the biggest takeaways that I had from this Brian Gudikins press conference. It's likely the last time we'll hear from him for a good while as the Packers move into their offseason. But one of the biggest topics, of course, was Aaron Rodgers, because as we all know, Rodgers said he's going to take time once again and contemplate what he wants to to do going forward if he wants to return to play football or if he may want to retire. It definitely feels like anything could happen with Rodgers this offseason. So first off, he gets asked by a reporter who says, do you think it you think it is his decision in terms of coming back if he wants to come back? And then Brian Gudikin said, we made a really big commitment to him last offseason. As we did that, it wasn't certainly for just this year. So like I said, he's going to take his time and the communication will be pretty constant as we move forward. And that is pretty a pretty similar answer to what he gave a couple months ago when he was asked about that, when he was asked about if he wanted Rodgers back after Rodgers made the comment that he wasn't sure that the interest was mutual between the two sides. Brian Gudikin seems to be sticking to the sort of similar talking point that the Packers gave Rodgers that contract last offseason with the um, plan to have him be in Green Bay for more than just one season. Here's another excerpt from this press conference. This is tweeted by Ryan Wood. Brian Gudikins asked if he could look Aaron Rodgers in the eye and tell him Packers are ready to move on. Gudikins says, if we get to that point, it's just we're not at that point. So at least right now, what Brian Gudikins is saying publicly is that they do not want to move on from Aaron Rodgers just yet. So if he decides to return, it seems like from these comments at least that the Packers plan to move on or continue with Aaron Rodgers. And then here we have another one from Ryan Wood. Brian Gudikins says he can see Aaron Rodgers and Jordan Love both on the roster next year, even if it would be Love's fourth year as backup. I definitely think he's ready to play. He's chomping at the bit, but at the same time, we're going to do what's best for the Green Bay Packers. And he also talked about how when it comes to the Packers' best chances at you know being competitive, when you look at both Aaron Rodgers and Jordan Love, he made the point, Aaron Rodgers is a four-time MVP. Jordan Love hasn't yet. Um, proven anything in this league. He looks like he has talent. It looks like he, um, you know, there could be some potential there, but we know what Rodgers has done. We know the kind of leader he is. And it seems right now that Brian Gudikins does want Rodgers back unless he's just keeping things to himself, which I, I don't know exactly what, what's going on there, but it se- sounds like he wants to have Rodgers back if Rodgers wants to return. He then talked a little bit about Jordan Love, and he said, we are very excited about Jordan and where he's at, and he noted that if Rodgers were to go down during the season and miss time, the Packers were very confident in Jordan Love leading this Packers team. So that is at least good news for the Packers um, to for them to at least believe that Jordan Love has a future. I know that you never know exactly what the GM is really thinking because let's say if Jordan Love wasn't good, would he come out and say he's not good? Probably not because then other teams maybe wouldn't be as inclined to trade for him. So he probably wouldn't share that if he thought that. Um, That's sort of just my guess. But at the same time, I think that we've seen from Jordan Love these past few years, the way he's progressed and developed as time has gone on. We saw just how good he looked in that Eagles game. And he was getting praise from lots of different NFL players like Darius Slay on the Eagles, who said that, you know, he looks, he looks like, he looks like he can get it done. And then he talked about Aaron Jones, who will be having, he's due $16 million in cash this next season and he'll be a $20 million cap hit in 2023. And Brian Gudikin said about this, well, with the way we've been doing things lately, we'll probably restructure everybody and keep trying to make some room in regards to the Packers players' contract. So maybe Aaron Jones's contract gets reworked a little bit. And then he said, certainly we expect to have uh, Jones back. So it sounds like Aaron Jones will be back once again. He is under contract, but I think some people were wondering because of his massive cap hit, if they would let him go to save cap space, but it doesn't sound like the Packers have any plan in doing that, which I think is smart because Aaron Jones, I think still one of the most talented running backs in the NFL. He's able to turn plays that look like he should be stopped at the line of scrimmage into somehow five to 10 yards. He's a beast in the backfield. And then we have him, uh, Brian Gudikins talking about David Bottiari about the plan for next year. And Brian Gudikins said he would hope so that Brian or that Bottiari continues to play left tackle for the Packers. And he said, it seems like the injury issues are behind Bottiari. As we know, he came into this year. There were some question marks. He uh, took him a little time to get back, but then he played a good amount of the season, played very at a very elite level, even though he missed the past year and a half, two years with that ACL tear. And then, of course, unfortunately for Bautiari, he had that appendectomy, which held him back a few more games. But it sounds like 
most of those injury problems are behind him and the Packers plan to have him back and you know will have him back once again and then to end it off I want to talk about what he said about this Packers team in general and basically his idea was that starting the season the Packers defense would sort of carry the load as the offense tried to get clicking with Devontae gone so many different moving parts lots of young receivers there he thought the defense would be able to carry them and he said they just weren't able to earlier in the season and because of that with the offense struggling it just led to lots of inconsistency throughout the entire year and he noted that the Packers never really played complimentary football consistently um, and he said that falls on the players the coaches it sort of falls equally on everybody for not really getting to, to be you know being able to get the job done and so at the end of the day when it comes to that Devonte Adams trade when you lose a Hall of Fame player like Devonte Adams it's going to be very hard to replicate that success and I think you know looking at the Packers and their struggles in the red zone the goal line one of the biggest reasons was with Devontae Adams gone you don't have a guy who can separate like that at an elite level consistently it's going to be much harder for you to get things done and so I think if Devontae had been here last year which he obviously decided he wanted to leave if he had been here I do think this Packers offense would have been much more consistent and who knows the Packers probably wouldn't have drafted Christian Watson Romeo Dobbs um, probably not both of them most likely if Devontae was here you never really know though I'm looking at that but going forward, it does seem like this Packers team has lots of solid building blocks. We have lots of young rookie receivers coming into their second year. Lots of young defensive talent in Devontae Wyatt, Quay Walker also coming into year two next year. And I think there's lots of reasons to believe that this Packers team can at least improve from what we saw this season. And Brian Gudikin sounds pretty confident with the players we have here and the coaches we have here that um, he believes in sort of their ability to get things going next year. But that is pretty much the breakdown, the summary of Brian Gudikin's press conference. If you guys would like to see more Packers content, Packers news, feel free to subscribe down below. That's all I have for this video, and I'll see you guys next time.